How to politely reply and educate students with unreasonable requests. I am a professor at uni, and I have been experiencing a number of unreasonable requests from students on these days, some of them arguing that they need a special treatment due to the current situation, such as students asking for additional exam papers with full solutions. There are already three past exam papers with solutions available. A list of the exact topics that will be examined in each of the exam exercises. This is, if the exam contains five questions, then I should provide the corresponding five topics. Providing the exact structure of the exam, such as one question about definitions, two questions about chapter one of the lecture notes, one question about chapter two, labeling slides and clearly specifying if they cover a topic that will appear in the exam or not, not just if it contains examinable material, but if the exam contains a question about the topic in the corresponding slide. I want to reply to these requests indicating that they are just asking for too much, I may as well send them the exam with full solutions, and to teach them that the point of the exam is not to regurgitate memorized solutions, i.e. life does not work like that. Any advice on potential ways of replying and covering both aims, being polite but also educating them about how unreasonable, entitled those requests are. Let's assume your teaching practices are the best possible. Students want you to change your teaching practices. You should respond by explaining to students why your practices are effective. Do this even if they don't ask. Examples. Additional exam papers with full solutions. There are already three. Past exam papers with solutions available. Studying the three past exams will help you learn what you need to learn from this class. Additional past exams will not provide additional help. If you have extra time, I suggest you. A list of the exact topics that will be examined in each of the exams. Exercises, this is, if the exam contains five questions, then I should provide the corresponding five topics. All the topics listed on the course syllabus are important things for you to know. Therefore, any of them might be on the exam and you should study all of them. If it was not important enough to be on the exam, then I did not teach it. If these types of responses are not true, then I suggest changing your teaching until they are true.